Hi everyone, I'm gonna keep moving on here. This is Frank DeMora with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. If you happen to just get into my YouTube channel by mistake or accident, uh, I'd like to invite you to go to my website, BibleProphecyMan.com, and you'll be able to download my book for free today. Uh, and so what am I talking about? Well, today we've been talking about the European Union civil unrest and the road leading to the one world government this one world economic system that the antichrist is going to be heading you'll see the warning by jesus christ in revelation chapter 13 verses 16 through 17. now in short what jesus tells us in this scripture is that the antichrist will be controlling the economy and how is he going to do that well if you don't take his mark which the Lord shows us in his scripture, it'll be placed in your right hand or in your forehead. If you don't do this, then we are warned that no man might buy or sell. In other words, if you can't buy or sell anything, you're going to be exed out of the economy. And if that happens, you're going to be out there fending for yourself. Now, how many of you out there, if you were exed out of the economy today, would be able to live? How are you going to eat? What are you going to do? What, how are you going to get your food? How are you going to get your nourishment? How are you going to get your water? If you don't have the, the right ID in order to tap into the world economy. And that's where we're headed. The economy as we know it is breaking down. The European Union is breaking down. The Euro is breaking down. There's warnings in the European Union. There's warnings in the United States. Anybody who doesn't know that the United States is in a major crisis financially, just take a look at the news today or my video. Scroll up to my first video. You'll see that uh, there's civil unrest breaking out in America now because of the economy. These are the things that Jesus warned us about. Now, in relation to that, I'm going to bring in another warning uh, that came from the IMF. Now, the IMF is the International Monetary Fund. And this is a, a warning about a recession. It says this. The International Monetary Fund on Friday warned that the advanced economies could fall back into recession unless policymakers move with greater urgency to agree on policies uh, to boost growth. In a note prepared for the G20 summit in Cannes, France last week, but only published on Friday, the IMF said that the economic recovery in advanced economies remain in low gear. Now this isn't new news to me because in my book, in my live presentations, in my videos, I warned you uh, that this was going to happen, that the United States was going to stall, their economy was going to stall, and I warned about the uh, other economies uh, going back not only into a recession like they're warning here, but into a depression because nobody in their right mind is going to give one man, one man the rule the world unless something major happens and the world calls out somebody to take care of the problem and then the Antichrist will be able to step on the scene he'll be able to give his mark he will then uh, change the the way people do business and uh, he will be given this authority but it's not going to happen until there's some kind of major crisis and we're seeing the development of that crisis now so let's go back into the article. It says, policy paralysis and incoherence have contributed to the exacerbating uncertainty and loss of confidence and heightened financial market stress, the IMF said. Now, let me throw in something that's very important. There's a lot of the third world countries that are, are in elation because the United States is in so many problems. As of the last couple of years, there are more nations looking at the United States and saying that they are, you know, they're the cause for the problems, they're the cause for all the wars and whatnot. But if the United States 
the recession, as I told you, forget about the recession. You should the recession. You should be looking for a depression, and that's more. We're seeing more news about a depression that's coming. Now, why am I saying this? Because if you live in a third world country and you have been relying on subsidies from the United States, better think about what's going to happen to your country if the United States goes down. Because if the United States goes down, and by all indications, that's what it looks like is going to happen, that your country will probably not get the subsidies that the United States has been giving to you. So your country would be affected. Now, what, what kind of subsidies? Well, there are many countries that are without food because of massive famines. Take Africa, for example. Africa has been in the midst of one of the worst droughts ever, intense heat, famines. They also have war that's been going on. You stop the aid going to people who are hungry, and if you think that the rioting is bad now, that are get, you'll get a whole new meaning from Mark chapter 13 verse 8 where the birth pangs because they're about to get a lot worse. So here we go. We have the warning about the, uh, the rich states will fall back into recession. Let me tell you, right now, uh, as I can see from the news, there's very little hope in the European Union and with the United States in a mess the way they are in the Congress uh, not being able to do much, it doesn't look much better than what's going on within the European Union. So, this is the news that the Lord wants us to pay attention to because we are moving in the direction that is going to fulfill, as I said, we're going to see, or at least if you're here, if you're not raptured away from the ch with the church, you will see this new system that will be set up by the Antichrist. Now, when is, go when is this going to happen? Well, this is going to happen, we know for sure, that when the tribulation begins, because the Antichrist will come out uh, at the beginning of the tribulation, when he makes a seven-year covenant with Israel, as it says in Daniel 9.27. So we know that uh, all of these things are taking place now. They're getting some formally with a new peace agreement. It's not working. That unresolved peace quest will end up going into war, which will again fulfill the scripture where the Antichrist will come on the scene making a covenant of peace to protect Israel and to bring out peace. But the, the word of the Lord warns that when the Antichrist comes, he will step out in peace, but that he will bring war and destroy many. So Keep your eyes on the news. Now, this isn't my warning. This is a warning from Jesus. You'll read it in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. The Lord said, keep on the watch. He didn't say, uh, maybe today you should keep on the watch, but you shall keep on the watch. And again, one of the reasons why is because the Lord wants you to see he is coming soon. When we see all these signs, the Lord told us in Matthew 24, look up because your redemption draws nigh. And so we're seeing these signs and we know our redemption is drawing very, very close.